right guys, feeling good today. You know, we got actually a full night's sleep. The guys ran out to the airport already. They're out tweaking on airplanes. I've been stuck in the room editing. This whole daily vlog thing's like a lot of work. But anyway, got the, the video from yesterday uploading now. Um, waiting for Quinn, he's gonna come pick me up in the, in the airport courtesy vehicle and I'm gonna go over and we're gonna figure out what the plan is. I think we're still waiting on Scott's muffler. I know it got next day aired, but it wasn't supposed to come until like four today. And really, we don't have that much farther left. We made it a lot farther yesterday than we expected. And I think we're like three hours from where we need to make it tomorrow night. So we're kind of thinking we got a good hanger here. Uh, maybe we just kind of hang out and kill some time here today, but I'm gonna go link up with the guys and I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, and also while we're here, I guess I should explain some of what's going on. If you guys aren't familiar with Oshkosh, basically Oshkosh is in Wisconsin, it's a town there, and every year they hold the world's biggest air show put on by the Experimental Aircraft Association. And basically there's like 10,000 airplanes that fly in, I think, what, 40,000 people camp and something like 200,000 people attend this event. And now uh, we, at least most of us, are flying in the short takeoff and landing demonstration that they do at the ultralight field during the Twilight Flight Fest, which is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Basically, we don't fly Saturday or Wednesday because of the night air show. So what we like to do is all get together as a group and fly across the country low and slow, enjoying the sights and seeing the, the whole country in a way that no one else does. So I'm flying with a group called the Flying Cowboys. If you're not familiar with them, check them out. Uh, Corey Robin, he runs a YouTube channel. He's like kind of the head guy uh, running or herding the Cowboys up. Uh, Kevin Quinn is also one of the original guys. And Steve Henry, those are all guys that have YouTube channels that if you guys are bored, go check them out because they all do uh, a bunch of the bush flying that I do, and it's just a different perspective into the type of flying that we do. Also, I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. If you guys are gonna be at Oshkosh and wanna come meet me, I will be hanging out at the Kit Fox booth on Tuesday and Friday from around 1 to 2 p.m., so if you're in the area, come by and say hi. I wanna meet you guys. What's up, dude? Hey, buddy, you wanna ride to the airport? I'd love one. If, uh, you are Trent Palmer? I am. Got you, uh, you're, I'm, I'm your Uber driver. <laughs> Perfect. This is the dot of where we are. This is where we came from. Yesterday we went from here all the way over to here, so killing it. So Quinn and I just dropped off the courtesy car walking over to the hangar. I guess we're gonna just tinker on airplanes. Do our Cleaning, thing. Cleaning, buffing, waxing. Nice to actually have this spare time. We didn't have this uh, luxury last year. Pretty nice, waiting a little weather. You know, they got severe weather, lightning, tornadoes east of us. We've got a beautiful hangar. Blue skies, wind blowing straight down the runway. Maybe we'll fly a little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just relax. What'd you do, an oil change? I just decided to do an oil change since my cowling was off. And, man, it sure is easier to work on these things when all the exhaust is taken off. I should do that more often. <laughs> but this morning. We good? Yeah. What are you doing? Horsepower, baby. More horsepower. <laughs> What is this? Look at that. Oh yeah. Not even 24 hours later, I got me into the song. Hell yeah. All right, FedEx just made it. So Scott's got his exhaust. I think it's time to put that thing on. I'm on Corey's electric skateboard, which is pretty sweet. But yeah. So 18 hours ago, I blew my exhaust up. I texted John McBean from Kit Fox Aircraft, and he and Deborah took the time out of their day yesterday, drove 40 miles to Boise to send me a box with a new exhaust. And here, 18 hours later, I can be back airborne again. Oh yeah, unless it goes back. I think that, oh man, I hope this fits. It's, it's happening, it's gonna work. Little modifications, but yeah. it's okay with me. So the stinger on this guy sticks out a different angle, but we're hoping, obviously, because his cowl drops below here, that maybe it'll just clear out the bottom instead of the hole right down this way. Sweet. 
Also, it sounds like we are doing a forum for the Flying Cowboys to come and meet the Flying Cowboys, right? We sure are, meet us all. What day? Thursday. Thursday at 11.30 at forum eight forum eight it's the it's all the forum tents so okay. the forum number eight i think it's sponsored by four flight come say hi let's tell some stories we're gonna have a good time yeah come check it out oh what is this everything is working just gotta tighten it down and go test flyer how'd it go wow Unbelievable. I'm quite blown away, right? 23 hours from blowing my uh, exhaust to completely to pieces to having a new exhaust installed and test flying it. It flew perfect. I actually made a little bit more power than I used to make. So that was a bonus. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and now I'm just uh, doing some final modifications to the cowl and should be set to jet. All right, so since we decided to hang tight in Yankton tonight, just because the weather where we're going is not very nice and we're sitting comfy in this big, beautiful hangar, why rush it? So, uh, had a couple questions or comments about some of the guys I'm flying with in their aircraft. So I figured let's, let's touch base with one of them. And probably the most relevant one would be Hal Stockman because his just started flying. How many hours you got on it? Uh, I think about 49 now. 49 hours and Hal built this thing specifically for competition to be short takeoff and landing. Nothing he cares about more than weight. So you weighed in at what, 595? 598, empty weight. Jeez. And uh, tell me what what'd you do to get it there? We started at the front and anything we need didn't need to fly, we decided to eliminate. So like we're running a lightweight propeller, we moved the cowling back an inch and got rid of the spacer and the long bolts, that saved a pound and a half. This is a lightweight automotive cooler. It's about four to six ounces lighter than the standard cooler and a little bigger. Uh, a lightweight custom exhaust, uh, which gives it more power with less weight. We put a, took the stainless steel firewall off, put an aluminum firewall on, uh, put all aluminum fuel lines on instead of uh, rubber fuel lines. It has carbon fiber cowl and boot cowl. The, I only put one fuel tank in the wings and then now I have a belly tank to take its place that I can just drop off when I'm competing. So uh, half his fuel is in there and that just comes off when he's doing a competition. Yeah, it takes four wing nuts and it's got a quick couple hose on it and a fuel pump and all of that comes off. Uh, the rear struts are smaller. They're just as strong in tension, but not quite as strong in compression. So I don't plan on going upside down. So I uh, use the smaller struts in the rear. The back seat comes out. The back baggage compartment there is a uh, crate that's bolted in with three screws. So I can take the back seat out and three screws out and that all comes out. The door will pop off. Uh, it's covered in lightweight Oratex, and anything that we didn't need, any brackets, there's no interior, no uh, uh, brackets or anything that we didn't need. We absolutely didn't need. We moved the front seat back six inches, got rid of the rear controls. There's no uh, uh, throttle or rear controls in it. We did add a little weight by extending the flaps. So the flaps are metalized on the bottom and extended two inches and go to 40 degrees. Oh wow, those are pretty impressive. The, uh, there's no covers on any of the, uh, there's normally a Lexan backer and then a cover over these and we didn't put any of those on. Uh, the same with the tail, we just left it open with no covers or anything. And the, I, it's the lightest tailwheel and lightest tires uh, that I could find. So we just went lightweight everywhere. The glass is half thickness. It's got a lot thinner glass in it. Uh, see if there's anything. Those are the, there's a lot of other, oh, we put all MS nuts on it. So it's got all small nuts. Uh, so. 
There wasn't a single thing you didn't think of. We Anything we could think of that would chop an ounce off of it or a gram, we did it. So to try to keep it as light. So we took, normally S7s are advertised at 725 to 750 empty weight. And most of them are 750 to eight and a quarter because they get dolled up with bells and whistles. Uh, and then, so we, we made this one light. So it can be done. Yeah, <laughs> you did it. <laughs> yeah. So this will be a fun one to watch. Uh, I'll make sure to get some video of him at New Holstein or along the way, but just right. from what I've seen, it lands slow and it takes off short. He's got that zipper big bore on it and it goes, it does. And it cruises too, he keeps right up with us. So I don't see any sacrifices you're making except for maybe on the comfort realm, but you wouldn't even right. tell us even if you were right. making yeah. those. I wear my coveralls. <laughs> I wear my coveralls, so I'm comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> You only got like three switches in here. Four. Right. Four <laughs> switches. <laughs> For added baggage, I have these pods that just drop off. The little bomb tubes. So they got a, they got a handle on them. The, the fuel tank is actually half of one of these pods with, that's, that's made into a fuel tank. So these pods just go on under the wing. They just clip on at this rail and then you oh, can yeah, right uh, drop them off. Yeah, this is the, the uh, right-hand side. I'll grab the left one here and I'll show you how it goes on. And how much weight can you put in them? I can put 50 pounds in each one. 50 pounds per side. Wow. And you said it doesn't hurt your cruise. No, it doesn't affect the cruise at all. Wow. <laughs> so. Uh, and are you just mainly stuffing clothes and all that in there? Yeah, or what? yeah your tent, chairs. I got ga uh, gas cans, gas bags. Uh, Anything that'll fit inside this, you can stuff it in here. It fits under the wing on CG with two pins, takes moments to take off and put back on. And so, it looks like bombs. Yeah, it looks like bombs. It's all cool. carbon fiber, so it's very light. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's the best part too. Cause Hal, you think, oh, he's running this stripped down light plane. He must be like bringing nothing when he comes. That's not true. He brings more than anyone. When I'm like needing tools, we go to Hal cause he's got an entire tool kit. He's got everything. He's a good guy to fly with because of that. But cool. Thanks, Hal. All right, we just got back to our hotel. It is windy as could be out, but uh, sounds like we're just gonna go get some dinner. Yeah, we decided, like I said, just to kick it in town, which probably was nice. It was a nice little break for us. So tomorrow, the plan is we're gonna get up, uh, I guess no real early time, because we're just really fighting weather, trying to make it to Madison, Wisconsin for the Rock the Ramp party. So that's the big goal for tomorrow. Other than that, we're just gonna go get dinner and call it. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying these daily updates. I, I hope they aren't boring you and there isn't enough flying in them. But uh, yeah, I'm having fun doing them. So if you guys keep liking them, I'll keep doing them. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Peace.